Hey guys, it's El Supersonic Q here with kind of a filler video, but you know, I'm slowly getting back on the video train with like the legit series and stuff. Plus, they just generally take a lot longer to make. But I want to keep the content consistent and give you guys something to watch. So a few days ago, I was going through some old drawings, and I found some of them that I thought would be pretty cool to show on camera. So the first one here is a Mario 64 watercolor Mario. Um, I was going to do a, or I did, a Mario 64 chalk drawing um, two years ago. And uh, I wanted to like practice beforehand, get a really good feel for, um, you know, Mario and his colors and his shapes and stuff. So that's what this was. And then this one was just kind of like a black and white version. Um, just again, with like shades and like shapes and stuff. I don't know why I went so try hard with this. And then in the back there's just like more. So this is kind of a collective of, again, when I was in high school for senior year, we did um, a t-shirt contest, a design contest that was like, don't drink and drive or whatever. So these were some different options that I had going. Um, I mean, I could have gone with this standard, like, skeletons in a car thing, like, okay. But then I, there's this other idea that was like a dude with his, like, mouth open and then, like, you know, death riding on, like the beer or whatever. It was kind of a more out there concept, but um, I kind of went with it because I don't remember having a whole lot of time to do it, and the skeleton thing was kind of, I felt like, too detailed for a t-shirt. Uh, but they didn't pick mine. No, they picked a really amateur car, like, crashing into, like, a street sign or something. All right, here's something that I, like, didn't draw, but this is important because in multiple videos I've referenced that I was going to re sculpt the Sonic the Fighters set, and I said, like, oh, I had printed out, like, a color sheet of all the characters. And this is that color sheet right here. So those are all the characters to the set, and they were everybody I was going to sculpt, re-sculpt, and then even some for the first time, like Honey. And these were all the character colors that I was going to go to the art store and match, like, perfectly, because I used a little, like, eyedrop tool in um, Microsoft Paint or whatever uh, to get those colors. So, so this is kind of cool. Um, again, when I was in high school, that video game club... We had to come up with a, or I wanted to come up with a logo for the club, so this is one of the drafts, I think. I don't think it was the final one we used, um, but I thought it was, you know, kind of cool. Up next is a bevy of Mega Man Super Sketching failed attempts, because when I was doing the episode, I just, like, could not draw Mega Man correctly, so I went through, like, so many pieces of paper. I think this is why the Super Sketching ep episodes as and series as a whole... Uh, just doesn't really happen anymore is because like I went through so many pieces of paper and so much aggravation just trying to get these to like look right and I was never really happy with how they looked this is the final version all right <laughs> this is pretty interesting now this is a birthday slash Christmas list but what's important about this is not on the front it's on the back so you guys know how Jazzerus stuff is super rare and coveted, right? Check out what I had on my list for this year. I had the Eggman 3-pack, which goes for like, I don't know, $200 mint on eBay. I had the Classic 10-inch Sonic, which goes for like 150 mint on eBay. And then I had the Classic and Modern 5-inch uh, figures, which go for, you know, I don't know, like 50 or so on eBay. They're, they're not cheap. And I, I didn't get any of them, I still do not have these figures, and now I will never get them because they're too expensive. This is kind of interesting. Um, so for English class and senior year, we, uh, we read a story, and then we had to write our own story based on it or something. Um, and in addition to the writing, we had to create artwork pieces, so I think I was in a group, and we came up with like an acorn character, and he went on like a journey through the forest. So I obviously did the artwork for it, and this was a scrapped version of uh, one of those illustrations. This stuff is artwork that pertains more to my channel and whatnot, so here's some like... I don't even know what I was going to use these for, maybe like channel icons or something? I guess that's me like smiling or something. And then I had like Sonic and Mario down here. I'm not really sure why I drew this, but like I sculpted that sprite style Raikou, like I made a sculpture of this, but I'm not really sure why I drew it. Uh, so that's kind of weird, and also there's a Charizard over here, so... Maybe I was going to make a sprite-style Charizard sculpture too, but probably not. I, I just don't know why I drew it. Maybe I just like the artwork or something, but it's not even finished! Here's some more channel stuff. This is a banner that I actually used for a while. 
and I ended up getting rid of it after a while. And I kind of look weird in this anyway, like my mouth is kind of really weird. But, I don't know. Then I guess there's this other one that I didn't finish, and this sick one with a pretty good looking Sonic, but once again, I look pretty wonky, so... I've always liked this picture a lot. This is Nintendo Generation Set Beta, because back when I was doing the set and I needed more ideas for characters, like I only had like five characters at this point, um, I decided I was going to do a Link from Twilight Princess and Red Roy from Melee, and that of course never happened in any form uh, to that set. But for some reason I did like uh, kind of production artwork of them, I guess, and how I wanted them to look. Um, so this is a true artifact from not only that set, but, like, you know, I guess in, in general, because these figures haven't really come to fruition in any way. And then finally, it was the super sketching for Pac-Man, so you can see the actual one that I ended up going for uh, with the episode. If you watch the episode, you'll see why this is. And then um, on the other side is this more, like, better looking Pac-Man. But there you go, guys. That was my random art video. I hope you enjoyed um, found some little cool, you know, insight into some of those drawings and stuff. Anyway, with that said, I'm Supersonic Q, and until the next video, Finn.